Bye. You fell asleep at 8 a.m. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever fallen asleep this late in my life. Oh yeah, right. The the whole ravioli thing. <laughs> The number one microwave trick is to like put only the food for like five minutes and then mix it a little and then put it in for five minutes again. But also it's annoying to have to mix it in between so I almost never do it. Uh, a lot of the time uh, on school days I will think oh I'm going to sleep at 10 p.m. and then I end up going to sleep at 11 or midnight because I get distracted <laughs> and on weekends and stuff I'm more at like 1 or 2 a.m. <laughs> I think the latest I've been up uh, recently is like 5 a.m. or maybe 6 a.m. No, I don't think you're the only one who does this. 
like I think I would probably uh, do something similar if I had stuff to do only in the morning or early afternoon and I could like choose choose I would like go to sleep probably super early as well <laughs> um, I think recently uh, the latest I've been is like 5 or 6 a.m. and it was because I was really stressed out about something <laughs> so I was just like stressing about it so I couldn't sleep so I was on my phone so I couldn't sleep even more and it kept getting worse and worse. <laughs> oh, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, if I had stuff that late, I would probably sleep in the afternoon as well. A lot of the time, I will like come home around 3 or 4, more like 4, and sleep for like an hour, feed my dog, go back to sleep, wake up, eat dinner with my family, go back to sleep again. <laughs> My back still feels a little weird, but I want to draw. I want to finish this yanto and do another one. Yeah, drawing forever, no more sleep, no more food, no more work, only drawing, no more breathing, only drawing. <laughs> I wonder how long I can hold my breath. <laughs> I keep forgetting that short colors don't like touch the edge. There's always a bit of space for buttons and I keep forgetting. I think my stupid computer is lagging. Yes, you should draw too. We should all draw uh, forever. Like until the earth explodes into 10,000 little pieces.
I hope the stream is still working because YouTube is telling me that I'm having like mediocre connection. So I hope it doesn't like die or something because uh, that would suck. Can you please fix yourself little internet connection? I should clean up the body a little bit before drawing all the clothes on it. Like that, that would probably make more sense. Oh my god, cat!
<laughs> Do, so did they steal it or did they not? Oh, the connection is back. That's nice. Where is the body? Mm. I should probably fuse all the body layers. Oh. Uh, objects love disappearing and going everywhere. Personally, I think the most crazy thing in life is how, like, if you have cables, like multiple cables somewhere, even if you don't touch them at all, they are going to tango. There's never a moment where cables don't want to tango. I'm going to fuse all these body layers. So I can do the the closes in peace after. It looks so funny when I remove the eyelashes like <laughs> he looks like Tintin. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid to laugh, laugh at something like that. Uh, I think I have all the body right here. No, no, I'm still missing this part. There, all together. I'm going to remove the face cross because clearly I... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Clearly, I don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna clean up the body a little bit and then we can really do the clothes properly when I'm sure of where every body part should go. At some point I should really look into setting up like music to play during the streams but I don't want to get like copyright strikes on my videos just because I played some cool music so I would have to try and find something that uh, is not copyrighted and find a way to play it easily. No, that's not what I wanted to click. I was trying to see if there was like a music option in OBS and I clicked one of my other presets that I use for videos. <laughs> and the Tortrude background is for when I make Tortrude Sims. Because obviously, like that just makes sense. But obviously since uh, The Sims isn't open, you can't see anything when I click on it except the background. I don't even really need lines for the boobs because like they're more like they're through the shading, shading the shadows, the light rather than really like visible but also I don't think I'm going to color this because coloring takes so much time and I think one boob is bigger than the other again <laughs> mm, does that look vaguely even Yes, you should make me music. That would be so cool, like playing your friend's music on stream. Yeah, it's not even at all. This sucks. Y your, your boobs suck. <laughs> oh, 
okay that's better already and then you can just say it's like the perspective or something that's making them a little uneven now, obviously human beings aren't symmetrical but this is a drawing so like they should be symmetrical Um, I think maybe if I finish this drawing and I still want to stream a little, I might like do another, but maybe not the other pose, maybe not right now, maybe later another pose, the, the other pose, but maybe a different drawing first, because like sometimes you need va 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 variety in your life, you know? I hate stupid English words like this, like you know how the A will be pronounced widely differently between words. What is this stupid language I'm speaking? <laughs> also, if I started speaking French, like none of my friends would be able to tune in because they would not understand anything. So it would just be me and my mom. <laughs> What words do you understand? Like, I think I will need to teach you like uh, swear words because that's like the only thing you need to do when you you are you speak a different language than your friends you have to teach them swear words it's very important This is looking nicer already. See, I don't need to do line because uh, I hate line art, but I can just like clean up all the little lines slowly until it looks all neat. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Um, I had some Spanish classes and some Dutch classes and earlier, like when I was in high school, I had uh, German classes for a year as well. So I do know some words in those languages, but if you try to speak to me with entire sentences, I would look at you like, what the fuck? <laughs> Even in writing, Dutch is pretty difficult because of the way the words can be ordered so uh, the verb can be like sometimes put at the end of the sentence if you use certain other words and well it's very complicated so like I would struggle <laughs> so I get it it's it, languages are difficult <laughs> French is the language of the devil, I think. <laughs> and that's just like trying to be fancy, you know? Like, 
when you try to, to, to sound cooler than you are, so you're like, oh, I speak French, I'm going to use random French words. Also, yesterday I was complaining in the Discord server about how I can't uh, get the same level of textures in my digital art than in traditional art, and that's why I prefer traditional. And they said that I should like use uh, texture brushes, and like it's not that I don't want to, but sometimes it's so difficult to get good ones. So right now I'm trying to like add a texture on top of the of the drawing see if that can make it better but I don't know maybe just using gray lines will help So maybe the second drawing I'll try to experiment a bit with like pen texture because like you're drawing with a pencil on paper, there's always going to be some texture in the the way just the paper has texture and the, the pen itself has texture. But in digital, I don't know, I've been with the default pen for so long. My only other pen that I really use often for like just lines is this one because it, it it has kind of a wait I put a paper texture earlier it has kind of a wiggle in it and it's nice I think like it gives a bit of texture to the lines but yeah I put a paper texture in it to try out later <laughs> while I was waiting for people to arrive uh, on the stream a little bit Because uh, even if I like the way that I draw, I feel like I'm missing something. And it's really just the texture that I'm used to when drawing on paper. And yeah, I think a grey background is going to make it look a little nicer. Like, th this looks better to me and I don't know why, because all I did was put a grey background. <laughs> Well, I should stop messing with textures and start like finishing this drawing first. <laughs> like, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. That doesn't happen to me that often, but often I'll, I'll click the wrong pen or something and I'll try to draw a line and instead of being a line, it's like a fucking paint stroke like this, you know? <laughs> or, you know, drawing instead of erasing or the other way around. That happens to me all the time.
my nails are super noisy. I tried to grab the the remote for my lamp and my nails went like <coughs> well you probably heard but like that's so funny but I'm gonna remove them tomorrow today we removed one nail out of ten and the rest are coming off tomorrow I'm gonna soak them in a in a bowl of acetone and uh, they will they will come off because they were cute, but now my nails have grown so much that they're like half naked and it looks weird. <laughs> and also kind of, it's kind of a, impractical because you want to you wanna put stickers on something? You can't because your nails are too long, so you're not precise enough. You want to grab something tiny? Your nails are too long! It's, it's it's kind of crazy. I don't know how I went for like a month with these without going crazy. Because when I was making a keychain last week, uh, I needed to like hold on to the metal ring with my fingers and bend it with the the little clamp on the other hand. Oh my god, that was so difficult. It kept slipping from my fingers because of my nails. And so like I had to retry so many times to get the loop closed. And then the loop, the, the, the part of plastic that was holding the loop broke in the mail. <laughs> so the person is gonna have to drill a, a brand new hole through. Kind of sad, I think. <clears throat> I keep having those like 60 second bits of songs, not even 60, maybe more like 30 seconds bits of songs that people keep putting in their YouTube shorts. Well, my bad for watching so many YouTube shorts, I guess. But they keep reusing the same songs and I, I and uh, they keep getting stuck in my head. Like since I never listen to the the full songs, I just get those little tiny bits stuck in my head all day long. I'll have a teensy one sentence bit of a song playing on loop. See, I'm almost done cleaning up that body. I will just <laughs> have to draw my my one tr my one biggest hen enemy, the hands. I hate drawing hands. I mean, everyone does, but I I I I really do hate them. So I've gotten a lot better at hands over the years, because I drew a lot of like bodies uh, from the knees up you know or the waist up so obviously you can't really hide the hands naturally because you can put them behind the back occasionally like like we all did this at some point you know the, the fucking the like oh this is my character <laughs> like we all drew like this at least once in our lives to avoid the hands but it doesn't look very natural so you eventually you need to draw the hands and you draw so many of them you get good at it and I'm still bad at drawing legs because I would always do knees up so no legs <laughs> but the hands I've gotten pretty good I think like I'm not an expert I often need to redo them Oh yeah, the, the ears in perspective are very difficult too because they look so different from different angles. It's crazy, like, what are those things? Speaking of 
ears. I think I need to make this one a little bigger. This looks better. Yeah, this drawing is going well, I think. So let's finish this arm and then we will tackle the hands. I say we, but I'm the only one drawing here. You're all just watching me suffer. I put the link to this stream in on a torture discord. So I hope people will come and watch me draw Yanto. Yanto is good for marketing. Everyone loves Yanto. I'm gonna copy past this and put the hand, the little hands next to what I'm drawing. There, go on the inside of the legs. Cause I need to draw a thumb here. need to draw some here like this no that's the wrong pen If I do something like this, does it look nice enough? Yeah, I might have to make the fingers thinner and longer if I want to do this. Or else it starts looking weird. Maybe bend them a little more so it looks more natural because her fingers are straight while well, her finger, the only one we can see, is straight because um, it's kind of against the skirt but here it's not so I got to adapt this. And I put a second one here, just a hint of a second finger. Yeah, the hands are always a bit messier than the rest I feel, but that's cause they're so fucking difficult to draw. looks still weird. I think they're still too thick. It's always important to unzoom before you think oh this is good because you unzoom and suddenly it looks so weird <laughs> and out of proportion. Yeah this is one of the things I said I struggle with when we were talking kind of about digital versus traditional art. It's like traditional art, I kind of always have an overview of the drawing. 
But with digital, I'm always zooming, unzooming, zooming, unzooming, and it kind of makes me lose sen the sense of proportions. So some things end up looking so fucking big, and some so small. So, well, you have the warp tools, the transform or whatever, so it's fine, like you can always correct it. But on paper, I really need to make a lot less of those corrections because I just have a better sense of the size of things compared to the overall drawing. And I know some people say you can like, you know, do two views like this. But it, that reduces my drawing area so much and I can't even put it like outside like on my second screen because like like this this is so small when you think about it like this is so much smaller to draw just to have like a second version of the drawing on the side that's that's kind of a too big sacrifice yeah, because, you know, if I try to draw the window away like this, it doesn't go over the the, um, the pen and stuff, so you can put it somewhere else. It's like under, so it's like stuck there. So that's why I don't use the... Ooh, that's too big. How do you put it back? I forgot. Because that's definitely not it. <laughs> I got my stupid fucking thing. Um, no. Oh, I got it stuck. That's so cool. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, let's try again. Um, if I go like this and open it again, does it... No! <laughs> Help! I don't know how to do this! No! I just wanted to show something and now he's stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do this? Because I swear last time when I pressed the bigger button... Oh, oh, it's back to normal. Okay. Okay, sorry for the massive panic. Because <laughs> I pressed the button again and it worked. Okay, well, I guess it just kind of glitched for a second. <laughs> That was stupid, sorry. I think the the, the YouTube chat, chat should let me send pictures so I could show you like random stuff uh, from my room at the same time as drawing like that would be so cool I could all oh, perspective sucks yeah I remember when we had to draw like rectangles and jars and stuff like that in perspective and it sucked I hated it the hand still feels a bit weird but I don't feel like fixing it right now and probably yeah when the clothes hide half of it like this it's probably gonna look a little better Mm, 
so hold all that's left to clean up the body is this bit of arm and this hand which is going to suck severely i am going to hate this do you do you want to listen to asmr <laughs> Um, yeah, cleaning. Let's start with the arm so we can like do the difficult hand last. Yeah, hands always difficult. I always need to do them multiple times. And hands and eyes, very, very, very difficult. One day I would love to do a video of me drawing like on paper. But I think getting a camera set up properly for that would be a little bit annoying. <laughs> and also like I tend to really lean onto the paper while drawing. So half of it might be just hidden by my head. So that would that would not be very useful. And also I love drawing in front of the TV and in my bed and like that makes it difficult, like you need to move the camera every time. <laughs> all in all, it sounds a little bit difficult um, to try to get like a video of me drawing on paper, even though I think it would be interesting. Because um, I'm definitely better at drawing on paper. Like I said, I have a better sense of proportions and I, there's a lot less that I need to redraw. And the texture definitely makes the drawing better. Uh, I wanted to add the little cheek and chin circles. No, that's still too big. Too big. Mm, too big. That's that's better. I do love my circles <laughs> and maybe yes on the ear as well I've started putting them on the ear as well and I need to adjust this ear so it's less messy where's the ear here oh there you are mm, just shave a little bit here and here I say shave like I'm fucking cutting Kim in half or something I'm just like reducing the ear it's not So all we have left is this one hand that fucking sucks. And then we will be free. Hungry. Let's cheat a little bit. 
and use this hand on the other side I love the little statistic thing on the side of the, the stream chat because like one part will say there's two people watching at the same time and another part will say there's four people so it's like which one is it who knows I don't <laughs> YouTube doesn't either apparently I think last time the maximum amount of viewers I had at once was seven people, which I think is pretty good for my very first stream since last time was my very first one. Oh, this is looking good. I am a good fucking artist. Mm. Maybe I'll just make the chest here a little wider so that it meets with the points I had drawn earlier. And now we are going to draw the clothes properly and finish them off. This is going to be a very good drawing. Mm, the skirt is going to be very difficult, but this is fine. This is just fine. I'm taking a little water break because I'm thirsty. I kind of wonder how much you can hear I know this is a good microphone because one day I was on voice call with my friend and she could hear 
a dog barking outside even though the window was closed and I couldn't hear it <laughs> but the microphone picked it up and I guess I don't know discord must have kind of mixed it up with voice and, and amplified it instead of like reducing it like with the noise reduction so she could hear the dog barking outside <laughs> but um yeah, so I, I know you can probably hear me when I type because I type very loudly. People always say that I type very loudly. But I don't I wonder how much else you can hear. Probably the noise of my computer as well. Because when I was recording videos from my desk, uh, I know the microphone picked that up. And I don't know what else. There's so much stuff going on everywhere all the time people are are bound to hear it you know <laughs> so first step we are removing that bit of sleeve here because no one's going to see it Now we are going to try to do the sides here. Uh, let's delete these hands and instead take this. Sorry for cropping out your boobs. This makes for a kind of a weird bit of screenshot. <laughs> The fabric here is pretty stretched, you know, like this. And then there's a bit that's looser down there. It's always interesting to observe uh, the way fabric interacts with things. Mm, can, can you not rotate it in your... Oh! Yeah, uh, sorry, I forgot you used that pixel pen for a second, so you, you can't really rotate it. Mm, I wonder how those vector layers are going to work. Oh, sorry for hitting the microphone. I wonder how those vector layers are going to work exactly. Because I know in like Illustrator and Inkscape and stuff like that, that's uh, vector based. It's... It's really difficult to draw directly on the thing. Like there are options like a pen to draw directly in vector, but it makes it very difficult compared to like tr tracing the thing with um, curves and lines, which is a very different feeling from drawing directly with a pen. <laughs> I hate UI updates personally. I hate when I open Discord in the morning and I get jump scared with like a new font or a new button or something. It's awful. Yeah, when you you test out the vector layers, just tell me how it goes because I'm very curious. Curious? I hate the stupid word. <laughs> Curious, uh, curious is one of the worst words ever to me. Oh no, this sucks. Do you need to like di direct or m well, I don't know if you've kind of drawn the line art yet, but maybe rotate it and then draw line art on top of that. But if you already did line art then you have to do it again and that would kind of suck so i don't know I 
I love drawing clothes, especially like the folds in the fabric, but I feel like they never look as good on the computer as they do on paper because I really lose that texture and also the way that, uh, yeah, that lines will be thinner, more transparent when I apply less pressure. I know I can set that up on the computer as well to have opacity as well as um, well I'm gonna do that right now actually let's let's experiment let's go all out on this yarn toe because I do kind of miss the way that uh, things would be a little more transparent when you draw in pencil like you can do a very thin trans translucent line yeah oh i put it on the wrong pen yeah new uis are always bad well, n no, sometimes there are improvements, but just like having to get used to them is bad. So yeah, let's put this so there's a bit of translucent stuff going on with the folds. Oh yeah, <laughs> the update tool tips are very annoying as well when they're like, oh, did you know you can do this? And it's like something you knew from before. CapCut has been doing that so much lately. They're like, oh, did you know you can ha add keyframes? And I'm like, yeah, you've told me 20,000 times already. Can you please leave me alone? Thank you. I don't usually use a 0% minimum size because it's difficult. <laughs> But maybe I should. I wonder if who are those people who keep like kind of seemingly randomly finding the stream because I can see it kind of zigzags between three four people and only two so there's probably like people kind of stumbling onto this and watching for like 30 seconds and being like no which I get I, I don't even like watching live streams myself but I do like making them. I do like talking while I draw and sharing stuff like this. And especially if it's someone you don't know at all, like I would get not wanting to watch this random live stream, but also like who is YouTube rec recommending me to? <laughs> like what kind of people do people to do, do see this and think yeah i'm gonna check it out for five seconds just to be sure you know what i'm gonna delete this so I can put in a new default pencil that doesn't have the opacity thing going on. So I can do stuff like this. Oh fuck, I hate ads. They should all die for this. I think it's fine to have like a banner and at the bottom of the screen with an ad but it's so annoying when it's like a pop-up that you can't skip that takes up like your entire screen with some stupid game video like oh 
99% of people can't solve this. Ugh. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but lately Tumblr has been advertising like watch an ad to get uh, 30 minutes of ad free scrolling. And that's so funny to me because like you are wa wasting ad space for this because um, <clears throat> the ads on Tumblr while scrolling, I feel are pretty non disruptive like um, most of them, they don't make noise, a lot of them don't make noise automatically, or at least not the ones I see, S and they just, well, they are still annoying, all ads are annoying by default, but they don't like stop you entirely for sc from scrolling or anything, and like you are just was wasting a ad space, because I'm not going to willingly watch an ad for only 30 minutes of ad free scrolling when um, I'm on this app for like so many more hours a day if I had to do this every 30 minutes I would give them like way too much money way more money than they deserve Yeah, that does suck, but I never got any uh, ads that had noise. Some were videos, but they did not have noise. Stop using the wrong pen. Make an effort. Thank you. Yeah, I hate UI changes as well. I remember when Discord um, removed the option to uh, remove the new theme and I was like telling someone, oh, you can change it back because I did not know yet that they had removed it. Um, they, they, I did not know yet they had removed that option so I changed to the new UI, like, oh, look, it's easy. And then I realized, oh, the button is gone. <laughs> so I had to go grab an APK to downgrade to a, a version where you could change back and then like change to the old one and then update my app so it would be um, the, the old layout on the newest version of the app uh, but the problem is that later they decided no more old layout which sucks by the way so now we are all stuck with the ugly new layout that is still so impractical to me like searching for things checking channel pins and stuff is has become a lot more difficult than it used to be and even just seeing the members in in a in a channel is super difficult now like every time i'm trying to check the pins and dms i al almost always um like keep trying to click in the corner but that's where the call button is and well so far i haven't accidentally called anyone because of this but it would be so embarrassing if i did like I almost did the other day I clicked and I think I didn't click exactly on it so it didn't register but I, I got scared for a second
Mm, I really don't like the new Discord layout. And in their update notes, they said it so that the um, the layout on mo mobile feels like it's designed for mobile instead of being like a size down version of the desktop. But the thing is that it's really annoying when apps look wildly different between desktop and mobile because then you, you kind of don't know where you're going if you switch between the two. And well, I assume there's a lot of people who only use one or the other, but there's also a lot who use both. And they are so different. Like I said, you try to click in a corner to check something and the button is not there because it's been moved. Or you have to make way more clicks to check something on mobile than on desktop and stuff like that. And I think it can be really confusing, especially if you're not that good with computers and stuff. So you don't kind of have an instinct for those things. Uh, it can get really confusing. But like a lot of people have complained and they haven't listened. And the least they could do is make it optional, you know, like have a little setting, a little toggle that says you want the new layout or the old layout. But no, they decided everyone needs the new layout for no reason. And like I said, it's not even an improvement because so many things take more clicks now or aren't as uh, easy as they used to be. So it's like a downgrade that's being forced on you. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to downgrade your app manually and I am very sorry about all your art files. We should have a little funeral for them. Five hundred. Good God. Well, good luck with your UI adventures. <laughs> uh. I don't know if I feel like finishing this right now, actually. You know what? Let's draw something else. <laughs> I can always finish it, finish it later. Just checking that I didn't mess up anything. Mm. Up. So 
what am I going to draw now? Since I got a little bit bored of the other drawing. <laughs> I'm gonna check my notebook because it has a list of things that I want to draw and there, there's there's a lot of stuff on there ideas there's some stuff that I definitely want to draw on paper because they, I want them to sort of match with other drawings I already have oh this I drew already mm. I think it is time to draw something kind of silly and fun. I, you can't see it on my you can't see that on my screen because I am um, in my browser and I don't want to share my entire browser on stream <laughs> but I'm looking up uh, Tamagotchi characters and I want to pick one that has a Yonto vibe silhouette and kind of turn it into Yonto because I think it would be kind of fun. No, I know which one I'm gonna pick. <laughs> hmm. 
I'm doing this one. He's kind of silly looking. But I don't know. He's kind of funny. And... Yes, this is the one I'm, I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm changing the stream title temporarily. So if people see they like know what I'm doing already. So we, we are doing this it is gonna be a little bit funny. So I put in um, my pencil that has the wiggly texture that I said I liked. And I added the paper texture to it, but you can't see it well from afar. See, that's what I said, This this software isn't made for big canvases like I use, it's really better at small canvases. But I don't want to draw small, I want to draw huge. Like, look how fucking weird the pen starts to look if you make it too big. That's not cool anymore. First, we need a big oval. If I do texture like this, does it work better? Let's try this one. Rugoso light, whatever that means. First, we need a big oval. That's a little flat on the top and bottom. Um, let's give this a file name. Tama Yan. So I I could have called him Yantogochi, but that's like the name of the keychains I do, and I don't want it to like mix mix the two in my head. So this one is called Tamayanto. Are the ears symmetrical? I bet not. Mm, 
good enough, I guess. Then we draw the little feet. It's so cute. Oh, this is easier. <laughs> now, they say this character Sima Simachi. That's that's a funny name. Uh, likes stripes, so obviously we are going to give this uh, Tamayanto a little striped tie But first let's do a little face See it's nice to do uh, a little stress-free doodle in the middle of a bigger drawing like it makes it easier like you clear your mind a little bit and when you come back to the other drawing you have like a fresh eye on thing and sometimes you spot mistakes more easily sometimes you feel like your drawing is better than it was before because you've had time to to rest your brain you know like it makes things better so the face is high on the body So the eyes are more flat than the creature, but I think Yanto has would work better with round eyes. This pen's not ideal for drawing circles like this, because you have the wiggly lines. <laughs> and I'll just correct that with the eraser. See, I like this kind of papery texture, I think it's nice. I wish I could apply that retroactively to the other drawing. I'll probably have to do this by like putting a texture and then erasing those bits. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just saying stuff. very important to make Yanto recognizable is the eyebrows. I always say this but it's true his, his eyebrows are very recognizable they have this caterpillar shape And then he's got like a kitty mouth of sorts. No more W. Maybe I'll do the flat eyes like on the original. See, this is this is silly and. And it's not like particularly advanced. It's pretty simple to draw, but it, it does, it does, it is fun. It's what's important. It's like you're having fun drawing. That's what's important. Well, I'm having fun. Like I said, I'm, I'm the one who's drawing here. You're all just watching me and listening to my beautiful voice. <laughs> I do kind of sound like a baby. I'm a tiny little baby! <laughs> Maybe Oh, I'm glad the vector layers are working out, so there's at least something good about the update. Mm. 
let's put the face a little bit higher like this yeah and now we have to give him a tie it would not be yonto without a little suit oh i put it on the wrong layer oh well You know, if I like how this drawing turns out, I will probably um, <laughs> put it, print it, put it in my notebook with the rest of my stuff. One day I should probably do like a notebook tour video, like that would be fun, I think. Because there's a lot of pages on there. Um, let's try to adjust the... yeah, that's too wiggly, that's not good. Um, what was it that before? I think mm, this is less wiggly for sure. Maybe a little less. Because you can really see the wiggles now that the canvas is so big. <coughs> And I don't want it to look too shaky, you know? Because it only look wiggly and if I'm in this... The, like this way looks wiggly, but this way doesn't because the lines go like this the wiggles go like this see this is so weird <laughs> so let's give the little tamayonto a little tie checking not symmetrical at all that is bad very bad That's more of a big tie than a little tie, <laughs> but it works. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do the little color though, because he's got such a big neck. Well, he doesn't have a neck. His, his head is like attached to the body directly. Uh, I don't know, I'll figure something out. Mm, water oh my god i've been almost two i've been alive for almost two hours now 
well, one hour 45, but soon it will be two hours because 15 minutes goes by pretty quickly. We are making those lives longer and longer. <laughs> it's not even on purpose. It's just that drawing takes me a long time and it's not like I'm gonna do anything else in the evening. No, don't use it. Um, my glasses kind of hurt on the side and I've had them for a bit over two weeks now. So I think um, next weekend, if they still hurt on the side, I will go to the go to the glasses store and tell them to readjust them because it's kind of annoying it doesn't always hurt but it hurts enough to be noticeable hmm. does it work if i do something like this hmm. looks a little bit weird but not that much I do like drawing with the pencil texture a lot more. Like that feels more natural. Yeah, this works out actually. Like this doesn't look too weird. He does kind of look like a potato. <laughs> I should have picked like Mamechi or something, like one of the recognizable ones. But no, I had to be like obscure. So maybe, oh. You know, maybe I should do Violet Chi next. Like, that could work. I'll see, cause like maybe we will have more than one Tamayanto, maybe like a whole, a whole zoo of Tamagotchis. Do you put Tamagotchis in zoos? They're not really animals. I don't know. That's that's a good question I'm asking myself. They're more like aliens, but also you have to take care of them like they're little animals. But some of them speak, I'm fairly sure. So that's that's a weird question. So now we are going to give this little guy the little stripes he deserves. First on the tie. So let's make this bigger. Yay, striped tie. And then on the body, so he's got all those stripes like this, like a B, and then two on the head. Maybe I'll make more than two on the head. I'm trying to kind of get the shape of his hair, but as stripes.
looks weird. I'll just copy past these. So this is our first tamayanto. Let's do another one now. Let's do violet like I said of oh, violet chi Violetchi probably because they're from Japan. Oh, I'm transforming glitch. Oh, it went by quickly this time. Mm, yeah, let's try to make him the same size as Sima Sima Chi. Because Violetchi might be easier because it has a body. Meanwhile, um, I just want to open the link in a new tab. So Violet, she likes flowers and is very kind. So I could do Mamechi, but that's kind of the classic and not very original. A Violet, she is more special. <laughs> and there's some even more obscure ones, obviously, but well, they need to be kind of recognizable. Oh wait. Mm. 
this one would be really cute because it's like a little pastry 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 This guy has a croissant tail. <laughs> croissant. You know what? I'm gonna do Nyanto as this little pastry guy. Um, Cornetchi. Cause that's, it's, it's really cute. Honestly, that's the only reason I can't even justify it. And I think it will be easier to make him look like Nyanto and not too weird because this one's cute but it looks kind of weird and not really yanto so i i think sima sima tree was not a bad idea but maybe not as cute as this one it's because the website on the tamagotchi website doesn't have everyone on it so I had to go on the wiki, which is one of those stupid fandom wikis. I'm bad at drawing. <laughs> Fuck. 
My hands smell like blood. Did I kill someone? Sorry, I'm getting mad because it's not working out the way I want it to. Okay, trying again. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Not this one. We are cheating today because I'm being lazy. This is better, <laughs> easier too. So we have little ears and then some sort of hair. So let's do the little ears first. It's the ghost of the art program. He's come back to haunt you and erase your drawings. You know, initially I was thinking that if I did the second drawing, it would be Yantu with Nunuks, but uh, the issue, sorry, hit the microphone again, the issue is that um, it would have to be kind of a complicated pose, you know, holding something, trying to make it a little dynamic, so uh, I think it's easier to just draw Yantu as a silly Tamagotchi. 
and do the complicated drawing a different day. And drawing Yanto with Nunu is also on my list of things to draw, definitely. But maybe not right now, maybe a little bit later. shapes do not want to collaborate so here we have our ears and now we're gonna do the little hair and to try to make it look like Yanto, I'm not gonna do three things like this. I'm gonna do just one. Okay, I think the new update may have glitched your software a little bit. I'm gonna move the ears upwards a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Vectors are a lot more complicated to handle for a computer or a phone, I guess, than um, normal drawings are. lower the hair I think maybe rotate this a little so it's more symmetrical and then lower it all like this yes Now we're gonna draw a little face. Maybe squish the head a little more. Squish. Like bread. Mm -hmm. Can you tell I'm getting tired? <laughs> no, but I wanna finish this one. I'll finish this one and then we will stop the stream and it will be all for tonight. The face, cute little eyes. I want to do round eyes.
No. I think there's some Tamagotchis where you don't have a set creature but like the creature is a mix of features from its parents so I don't think this little Yanto is too unrealistic well not like anyone said anything obviously <laughs> since there's only one person watching but you know just thinking I love thinking his little eyebrows and you can think that the eyebrows are just like little bits of dough hi <laughs> it's okay that there's only you on stream you're my friend so it's nice you're not some random person i don't know mm, the eyes aren't aligned i think are they? Not quite, but it's not too noticeable. Or maybe still raise the eye a little bit. He's got little burn mark blush that's so cute that's such a nice little detail for a pastry character like that is so adorable maybe put it a little bit higher right so it's closer to the eyes, which means cuter. ears need some work because they're a bit more flat like this right But also higher on the head and I think I need to like rotate them so they lay better against the head oh we are getting some nasty little border weirdness there
Let's do his little body now. This should be easier because it's more like a square. So it's okay if I divide it into multiple lines. Like his body is like a little piece of toast. This is such a nice design to be kind of reminiscent of pastries. Oh, what if instead of a croissant tail, croissant tail, I hate the word croissant and tail next to each other, it sounds stupid. Um, I did like a tie that's a croissant, like this. Mm, no, that looks stupid. <laughs> Never mind. I uh, forget I said anything. He has tiny little legs. And let's make the corners of the body more rounded so it's cuter. It's like a big skirt. And maybe make all that a little smaller. <coughs> now I'm gonna draw the tail and compare between like round eyes and oval eyes and see which one I like better. I think oval is better, even if I won't want it to do round at first. Let's hope they are more or less the same.
kind of uneven but I don't really care enough to fix it let's do the tail bleached blonde is still blonde like it's not the same as a natural blonde of course but it's still blonde like what other color is it blue So that's the croissant tail done. Should I put a little bit of color while I'm at it? First the tie. The tie is very important. This is like a central yanto there. So you do little thingies like this. I'm gonna copy past. I'm so lazy right now. little thing Oop. like this mm -hmm. maybe I'll make it smaller now Oop. tiny little tie very cute let's put a tiny bit of color in there because well, while I'm at it might as well Clearly the bucket doesn't want to collaborate. Oh, that's because I have... Oh, yeah, much better. The pencil texture definitely makes the coloring a little bit nicer.
Mm-hmm. His little belly. And the croissant tail. Try to color the tie. Oh, I think I'm gonna make the belly yellow. So I can make the color white. No, not lock entirely. And the tie, I don't know the tie. Hmm, maybe blue, so I can make the eyes blue as well. Oh, forgot. Oh. So I'm gonna go get that green and make it blue. Like less saturated because Yonto's eyes are a little grey. Well, I think that's also due to torture lightning being kind of desaturated sometimes. But you know, lighter, definitely lighter, or it looks weird. There he is! pastry and oh I need to add little reflections so it's cuter no, this needs to be actually white There he is, so cute! And that's it for today. I've been on stream for two and a half hours and I think that's enough. Bye bye everyone! Oh well, bye bye Ruby I guess, since there's only one person here. <laughs> bye!